How are you going to leave behind your family and go to the mission field? How are you going to deny yourself and say some bold word at work tomorrow? How are you going to let goods and kindred go this mortal life also? There's only one answer to that. It isn't works. It isn't works. It's depending on Jesus. He's my all. He's my all. Knowing you, Jesus, knowing you, there is no greater thing. You're my all. You're the best. You're my joy, my righteousness. And I love you. The way you become a loving person is one way. Faith. And James is saying, if I don't see the love, I don't credit the faith. And therefore, if you want to call yourself justified, you must have both the love and the faith. And I don't think Paul disagrees with that at all. And so I just close by saying, if you're at the beginning, depend on Jesus. If you're in the middle of your Christian life or near the end of it, depend on Jesus. And out of that will flow rivers of living water and love. Let's pray. Oh, Father in heaven, I think I speak for almost everybody in this room to say we want to be loving people. We don't want to be selfish people. We don't want to be carnal or worldly, all wrapped up in our privatistic ways of doing things without any God bearing on it. We want to be swept up into Christ and His ways and be the light of Christ in the world. And I pray that the message of James, with his insistence that it's dead faith if we don't get there, and Paul's message that the only way to get there is by faith alone, that we will glorify Christ by believing these two messages and seeing their coherency in the Word of God. Lord, teach your people. I've done my best and no Holy Spirit in and through what I have done and your Holy Word. Be the teacher of your people. I love the thought that our people are God-taught, according to 1 Thessalonians 3. God-taught. And so grant now, I pray, that we would be a God-taught, God-emboldened people. I commend them to you for your care. Now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. And all the people said, Amen. You're dismissed. Thank you for listening to this message by John Piper, pastor for preaching at Bethlehem Baptist Church in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Feel free to make copies of this message to give to others, but please do not charge for those copies or alter the content in any way without permission. We invite you to visit Desiring God online at www.desiringgod.org. There you'll find hundreds of sermons, articles, radio broadcasts, and much more, all available to you at no charge. Our online store carries all of Pastor John's books, audio, and video resources. You can also stay up to date on what's new at Desiring God. Again, our website is www.desiringgod.org. Or call us toll-free at 1-888-346-346. 4700. Our mailing address is Desiring God, 2601 East Franklin Avenue, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 55406. Desiring God exists to help you make God your treasure, because God is most glorified in us when we are most satisfied in Him.